Leash against Waterford down in Nolan Park. 500 supporters allowed in. Ridiculous. Not Asher, it's madness, yeah. Like in, especially in comparison to the amount of supporters got, that are going to be at other games as well this weekend. It's, it's crazy, really. Um, the big question going into the game, I suppose, is like, can Leash produce something? They produced them, you know, a season's best last weekend. Can they produce something this weekend uh, against a Waterford team that are pro- have probably been down in the dumps? Now, fair enough, they've had just it must be three weeks to have turned things around now at this stage. But that was such, you know, it's the flattest performance of. Uh, of Liam Cattle's reign in Waterford, uh, can Leash uh, see, seize upon you know a couple of maybe frailties that are there, even though they're probably going to have Jamie Barron and Connor Prunty back. It's going to be really really interesting. I, f- I find it hard to see how they will, but uh, especially if they if they play if they play negatively as well, which they might to some extent to try and negate that Waterford attack, particularly in the inside line. Uh, I think Waterford could do an awful lot of damage from out the pitch, but be interesting if. if Leash can get off to a good start. You know, they hopped off Clare in the qualifiers last year, only went down a point, I think, in that game, even though it was 14 against 15. So, you know, they, they have a bit of previous when it comes to actually producing something in the qualifiers in, you know, in the last seven or eight months. So hopefully, hopefully they can make it really interesting. But I, I, I am still pretty strong on Waterford. I still think there's a big kick in them yet this year, even though they're in an absolute shark tank coming through the qualifiers, the way they're going to come through. Probably going to have, well, they're going to have either Clare or Wexford uh, Cork or Galway in the next round but I still think there's something big in them I still think there's a lot to like about their attack and I think they'll get back in the groove at the weekend Yeah, well Leash have plenty in their attack too Paddy Purcell's performance the last day out you know, it was on the line for them they hadn't won a game in 500 days you can imagine the buzz in that camp and like Cheddar driving them on for the last uh, week or so tough to turn around and get the bodies going again and mentally get yourself up for it again but a lot of their key players, you know, like their all-star nominees like Jack Kelly and Ender Rowland, they stepped up. Now, I, uh, Ross King also played very well, got a couple of points before getting his second yellow card. Willie Dunphy was really good. Chad Wire was quite good. He kept hitting wides now, and he eventually got a point. But a lot of those guys played well. PJ Scully started to step up as the game went on. Have you played at Nolan Park before? Oh, loads of times, yeah. To me, okay, the, so- the, 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 the nicest, uh, nicest ground to play in in Ireland. Yeah, other than Semple Stadium, it's lovely. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, like, um, it is not. It's a lovely venue, and, and I've often said that. But it's class. But is it, like, Parnell Park is very short, and Ender Rowland was landing his pockets on the 14. Do you think Ender Rowland can do that at Nolan Park? He won't be too far off. It's it's not altogether, uh, it's not altogether long or wide. Like, it's, it's a bit bigger than Parnell Park. But it's still quite a bit off, probably Turles, and definitely quite a bit off Crow Park or Parky Cueve. So yeah. I'd say he can. So do you think that plays into the hands of Leash in any way, shape, or form? Because they'll want to keep it tight. Then again, that's where Wexford absolutely ripped them apart a few weeks ago, and they stepped off the puck out. So maybe I'm trying to imagine a factor that will help Leash that isn't actually there. Yeah, with, with due respect, Shane, I think they thought they could probably do that against Antrim. They probably thought they could take a chance and leave a ball long down and long like that and put, get a lot of bodies in underneath. If they do that against Waterford, and Waterford come out with possession, which I think they will a lot, then all yeah. of a sudden, you have a lot of space to far end. You have a lot of one-on-one matchups to far end. Uh, it's almost like, you know, when you see a team pressing in football now, and everyone says, press the kick-out, press the kick-out. Yeah, that's grand, until the ball goes long, and it breaks against you in midfield, and all of a sudden, there's an acre in front of you. So, I don't, you said they committed four a lot of the time, into the breaking ball last week. I don't know if they'll be able to commit the same amount of bodies because uh, it's kind of kamikaze tactics in many ways against a team that could hurt you that much. Antrim, with due respect to them, weren't going to hurt them the way a really, really high-end team will. So uh, I'd say we'll see that tactic. Uh, I don't think you'll see it as often, though. Yeah, lots of teams have done this, but like uh, you and I were at... Was a parky rin to see the monster final in 2019, the club final between Burris Lee and Bally Gunner. Bally Gunner, heavy favourites, but Burris Lee dumped so many pockets straight down on top of the sweeper with everything, everyone converging. If you're, if we're thinking that, if we're thinking that Leash can't exactly put everybody up up front and and kind of try and hit it into the 14 as they did last week, can they maybe hit it to a wing forward and ju- and just absolutely load the area with numbers for pretty much every pocket because at yeah. least. You, you can't be as count, counter-attacked quite as quickly in those situations normally. Uh, I'd I put this to you, though. Uh, if they can t- that, that's very taxing. How long could they do it for? We've talked about uh, conditions. It forces Watford to work hard as well, though. It, do, it does, but 
uh, who's a better conditioned team? Mm. You know, I, I do think Waterford are better, are better conditioned. Obviously, they're a higher end. They played the All Ireland final last year, uh, and they're probably even a younger profile than them. But they're going to have to. It's just when you try things like that, they're just going to have to come off for you. And even with those long puckouts, not going to try them the whole time down towards the edge of the square, maybe. But when they do come off, they're going to have to get a break or two. Uh, Connor Prunty probably won't have, you know, won't have hurled in four or five weeks as well, coming in probably a full back. Um, they probably will have probably 10 starters from last year's All Ireland final team. But still, they're coming in, uh, they're coming in kind of down in the dumps a small bit. But as I said before, Liam Cattle has turned it around with the minors, the tip minors turned around with the tip 20s uh, or 21s as well. So he has uh, he has a great record of being able to turn things around and bounce back. So it'll be really interesting. And he promised, he basically promised a lot of changes as well. So it'll be interesting to see what new personnel comes in. Maybe maybe Mikey Kiley will start. Um, be interesting to see that too. But the, you, I would be expecting him to follow through on that and to see some uh, fresh faces. Yeah, actually, as Andrew Sullivan points out, 3,500 was announced this morning for the Watford versus Lee. So the, well, at least only that's right, yeah. yeah. Only yeah. right, yeah, in fairness. Uh, Leash have nothing to lose, says SSRI. Pep in their step after beating Antrim. Some nice hurlers go 15 on 15. I don't know if they can do that, can they? I'm not sure. Uh, everything that we've seen this year would suggest that they won't as well because they've generally played at least a man back. The, the thing is as well, Shane, this is a real kind of... like I know you talk about bonus territory, but this is a real bonus for Leash. They have another game before they play Westmead in that game uh, to see who stays up in Division 1. So I think they'll look to get as much of this out as they possibly can. Um, I'd love, I just, I'd love if it was tight early on. I'd love if it, if they could make uh, Watford squirm a small bit. What you don't want to see is, you know, Desi Hutchinson in forty or fifty yards of space and getting to look his man in the eyeballs. That's exactly what you don't want to see. Yeah, I wonder where will Austin Gleeson remain in the backs? He was like he was Watford's best player the last day. Will he stay in the backs? Will we see a bit more from Stephen Bennett? The forwards more or less imploded. The forwards didn't score from play outside of uh, Stephen Bennett, as far as I remember. So, like, they really do need to get something out of this performance, Watford, other than just winning. They probably need to get a few performances in there that make them think, OK, we're going into the next round of the qualifiers, which will be a very, very tough task in, go in better form. Oh, yeah, yeah. like, remember when they played Westmead in the league, and I know it was a much, a much changed Watford team. They don't need, they, they, they cannot fall over the line here. You know, yeah. they need they need to get they need to get things moving again. They need to put up a big performance. They've generally put massive scores in the league. So like you know, if if you're basing it on what we saw in the league, you're looking at Walford putting up you know a three twenty three or three twenty twenty four that type of a score. Uh, I I kind of expect expect them to do it as well. I think they should put up a good bit of resistance, but just just can't can't really see it been can't really see it been competitive beyond you know 40 45 minutes being honest join the our game supporters club at patreon for five euros per month to get audio podcasts of the hurling and football show and much more exclusive material